the deepest tissue is where you see uh i would say the most dramatic changes between species so yeah. for example if you look at the spine uh in the evolutionary timeline what you do not see in quadrupedal animals is any extensive lateral ligament uh, ligament stabilizing system of the spine right uh, the lateral ligamentation li ligament stabilizing system of the spine was something that developed in the aftermath of moving from a quadrupedal to a bipedal animal that's so, so cool man yeah isn't that isn't that crazy so when you look really deep i i, I often say that the the deeper you look, the more you understand the, the anatomical process for what it is, which is what you said is the preservation of the space. You have to think of the space as being the, the, uh, the, the what's the word? The first, uh, well, we say this, it's it, the only thing that's really protein for in your body, meaning the DNA is really coding for is a generic understanding as to where the space needs to be. So your shoulder kind of needs to be here and your hip kind of needs to be here. And that is known, but based on that, that cascades everything that will lead to the development of that articulation. So the space needs to be here and that's all you know. And then there's a series of events where you have uh, uh, abnormal fluid flow into particular areas around that space leading to a condensation of the, the tissue in that space leading to an eventual cavitation of the space. Mm -hmm. And then you have this, this glob of cells that have these little spaces. And then from there you get twitches and then the twitches of you know, movements, very minute, very uh, local movements start the process of the development of the joint, which is all based around the preservation and maintenance of that space.